Hello everyone, Blitz and Nine back here, and today we'll have a, another episode of Warframe. Um, I did try to get Field to uh, come on, but uh, I think he's out doing something right now. So it's just going to be us today. And as you can see on the screen, I did get all the weapons from the Stalker. Fucking finally took him. What is it? I started playing this game about two, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years ago, and it took me that long to get the despair and the hate while the dread kept dropping like candy. So, well, yeah, they're not fully leveled and they don't have the the, the best builds on them. Yeah, it started judging me. I don't give a shit. So, what we're going to do today is I guess we're just cosplaying as the stalker, really, and. uh... I guess we could just go uh, do some missions. <coughs> What's the sortie? Rescue, intercept. Ooh. Okay, we we can definitely do this. Augmented enemy shields. Yeah, sure. Let's go. F let's do that. We'll do this and. Uh, yeah. We'll do this and then we'll go back <coughs> and change up stuff. Like we'll cosplay as a stalker for this mission. But then I uh we're gonna have to switch to some more powerful weapons. All right, here we go. So, uh, I did want to s update a couple things. Um, I have not been spoiled on the Chains of Herald quest, so I'm still uh, gonna do a complete playthrough of that with my uh, reactions to it and everything. Um, Tenocon 2017. Holy buttload of fucking releases. Well, not releases, but um, you know, reveals rather. We got a lot of reveals at Tenocon 2017. I didn't go, obviously, but uh, I did watch the live streams. So, um, uh, one of the more subtle reveals, I guess you could say, was Hydroid Prime. Yes, they're they are priming Tentacle Master himself, Hydroid Prime. Take take that and do with it what you will. Um, but, what, I just realized I've never done rescue on Lua. Oh, there's four term, okay. I'm so slow on the hacks today, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's a lot of ancients. <coughs> Heavy gunners, we failed. Or did yep. Well done. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Oh my god, that was horrible. That was not like I did not intend to laugh like that. I was going to laugh normally, but then my throat got super itchy, and I guess my body was like, "Oh, he's about to laugh. Let's just make him cough at the exact same time." Ha 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 ha! Fuck you. God, <coughs> that hurt my throat a lot. <coughs> Wow, that was a. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame anyone for leaving. That was horrible. I mean, I honestly should have. Why is there no one doing this? There's like no one doing this fucking mission. What the hell? There we go, hold on. I gotta wait till we join. Come on, load. All right, here we go. I also realized that I um, I stopped mentioning what happened at Tenocon once we got into that vault. My bad. Uh, anyway, a yeah, Hydroid Prime. Uh, like I said, take that and do with it what you will. Some people are torn, like, it's Hydroid Prime, like, those few people that play Hydroid are like, yes, Hydroid Prime, and then the rest of us are just like, ugh, Hydroid, really? But yeah, Hydroid, I mean, let's give them credit where credit is due, he looks fucking fabulous, he looks amazing, but... It's Hydroid. Uh, so I uh, and yes, they did. They did mention at uh, while the when they revealed him as well, um, that he is getting a rework before he comes out. I think they're hoping to get his rework done before Hydroid Prime gets uh, released. The is out of time. Hurry. So hopefully, if we get a good rework, De. Ancients. They're still on the ancient room. Guys, hack. Oh, thank Christ. You don't say, Lotus. I didn't realize. <clears throat> All right, move it, move it.
Fucking Christ. Last thing we need is a Bursa. So far, my day cosplaying a stalker has not been fun. Alleyoop. Okay, uh, continuing with the Tenokan reveals. Um, what else? What else? Oh, Umbra got revealed as well. He's going to be part of the next cinematic quest. Who could have guessed it was going to be Umbra? I honestly had a feeling it was going to be Umbra. Because, I mean... He, I mean, seriously. <laughs> they, would ha they had to give us Umbra at some point. They kept denying it. It was real fucking obvious. <laughs> it was obvious that it was either going to be Hydroid or Umbra. And surprise, surprise, they gave us both at Tenocon, so... Crazy. Uh, what else? Let's see. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Probably the biggest reveal at Tenocon was the Plains of Eidolon. And if you don't know, or if you haven't seen this yet, the Plains of Eidolon is going to be a update where it's going to change Warframe. Literally, it's going to be Warframe 2. Because we are getting open worlds, guys. They're literally giving us open fucking world. There's gonna be able to. F so we're getting a. First of all, we're getting a new re relay type place. It's gonna be like a call interception. If I'm strong. So it's gonna be um. It's gonna be like a relay, but it's gonna be on Earth. Chains of her aiming for cert today. Thank Christ, we've been waiting a while, D. So we're gonna be able to go. To this relay and we're gonna be able to buy stuff because there's a bazaar there we're gonna be able to trade with the villagers that are there because it is a reclamation colony it's gonna it's gonna be a colony that are trying to fight against the grenier and you're gonna be able to trade with uh, NPCs and you're also going to be able to buy stuff from, from NPCs but I think the biggest reveal at Tenno, uh, from that was, uh, from the colony at least, was that you can now craft your own weapons. Yes, you heard it here. You'll be able to choose from a selection of guards, handles, and blades. Um, guards, handles. Uh, my, my apologies. Uh, handles, blades, and like links. They're like attachments that affect the way your weapon's going to perform. So basically, depending on the type of handle you choose, your attack speed may be slower. You might have a different stance. Uh, depending on the type of blade you choose, that depend that is going to basically govern what type of weapon you're going to have. Say you have a super long blade. Like uh, like a great sword. Let 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 let's say it's a it's a blade the length of the of the war. You're obviously going to have a great sword. But if it's a it's a if it's a blade the length of like the Mios or like the Dakra the Dex Dakra, it's just gonna be a sword. Uh, speaking of which, I don't know which melee weapon to take. I'll just take the Ninkondi, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. We're gonna be able to craft and name our own weapons now. You also you will also be able to pick up quests from NPCs. They're sort of like side quests where you'll be able to farm the planet and do certain quests for NPCs and gain rewards from it. And as you do these quests, you'll gain more and more. Why is no one doing the sortie today? What? 
hold on guys there is no one doing a sortie today which I find incredibly weird there's literally no one doing it <coughs> <coughs> okay what we'll do we'll start it hopefully I'm hoping to God someone joins because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do any uh, in an, in an, an interception by myself that's just not possible what else is there oh yes uh, we won't have to go back to our ships anymore to enter uh, the area we're gonna explore basically what they show there's two there's two sets of doors we go one and the hallway we walk through acts like I guess it acts like a loading screen and while we're walking through that hallway the world is loading um, an <coughs> undefined amount of land for us <coughs> and once we get to the second set of doors that is when they open up and let us into the world we're gonna be able, we're gonna be able to walk from the relay or the colony rather straight into the open world without a problem And in this open world, you will be able to fish, hunt, uh, collect resources, and kill enemies. Why is my fucking... There's, I got a teammate, but they're not doing anything. Oh. See, this, this is what I... I do, like, seriously. How are you not dead? You know, it actually is a good idea, <coughs> a good thing that I brought the uh, Ninkandi, because these things are uh, impact based, so that's going to be great against the corpus. Oh, we have to do three waves of this. Honestly, it seems like this episode might be a bit longer than the rest, but I don't particularly mind. Because it gives me more time to go over the stuff that happened at TennoCon. Anyway, it seems like. Is that a kill squad? It seems like uh, what we're gonna get is during the daytime when you go out into the open world area and that seems like it's going to be the time for all players to go out and do what they need daytime is going to be where you can go around kill Grenier, go to outposts uh... do quests stuff like that you can do all everything you want during the day but once it turns to the... oh that 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 that, hmm, la, 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 la. that reminds me we're also getting Flawless day-night cycle. We're going to be getting a day-night cycle where we can watch it happen. We're not going to have to leave the area for it to turn to night or for it to turn to day. So, basically, what that means is that now we will be able to have more... Like the world will feel will feel more alive is what I'm trying to say here. Can't believe that actually worked. <coughs> Hmm, that's how you get rid of enemies. Uh, but, oh, hello. Oh, hi! Where the hell did you fuckers come from? Oh, 
And this is why I brought viral. <coughs> So back to what I was saying, I'm really just not good at uh, sticking to what I'm saying, huh? Anyway, basically, as I said, daytime is going to be a time for everyone to go out and do what they need. But once it turns nighttime, if you... Could you, could you not? But once it turns nighttime... You will be called back to the colony. And basically, you will be called back, and those players that aren't. How do I want to say it? Oh my god, they went down. And those players that aren't leveled high enough, or maybe they don't have the right gear. They will be kicked out. They will, the game will literally be like, get the fuck out of here. You are not qualified. Now, this is where it gets interesting. When it turns nighttime, that's when all the vets get together. Because nighttime is only for veterans. Specif DE specifically said this. That nighttime is going to be for vets only. It's going to be high-end gameplay. And... If you're not, like, leveled high enough or you don't have the right gear, you're just going to get absolutely <coughs> steamrolled. Because according to the... Why? Tell, let me guess. Yep, it was a goddamn crewman. This is why I hate Corpus Sorties. Wow, really no one <laughs> rezzed me. I'm I'm kind of offended by that. Everyone to your stations. So when nighttime rolls around, you uh veterans will get together because at nighttime these big giant hulking behemoths called Eidolons come out. And basically, well, I mean, I'm not sure if they're called Eidolons, but... Eh. So what basically they are is these giant hulking behemoths. And they appear to be sentient, too. So, uh, imagine the sentients on Lua. Like the Battlists and the Conculists. Imagine those, but maybe 50 times bigger. I'm not, I'm serious, like, compared to these guys, you're gonna look like a little ant. And that's where another feature is gonna come in. You will be able to pilot Arcwing at will. I would appreciate- thank you, finally. Wait, that's someone else. I feel like they're- I feel like that kid may be leeching off us. There's a lot of them up there. Oh dear. So yes, you will be able to jump into Arcwing seamlessly and on command. Basically, uh, what it looks like is you're gonna, you are going to have to craft these deployable things. You know, like um, like these, all these specters and stuff that you can use on your toolbar. That's what it's gonna work like. Basically, you will craft it, and you'll get a certain amount of uses per craft. 
so like say you craft one that one blueprint gives you like 10 uses gives you 10 of our queen uses uh, or they might change that you might be able to summon it naturally but from what it looks like you're gonna have to be, uh, like craft beacons for them to come down I hate, I hate enemy elemental enhancements or Eximus stronghold. How the fuck are you not dead? Okay, run for your life. <clears throat> I'm getting so focused on this stuff that I keep forgetting to talk about the reveals. My bad. Um, but yes, uh, basically what that means is with the arc wing stuff, you will be able to fly around uh, and you, you're basically, Jesus Christ, you're going to be able to um, <clears throat> use your normal weapons. You won't have to use your arc wing weapons, which I think is a good idea. And that's a bursa. I'm gonna die getting this guy up. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck is the rest of my goddamn team? One of them is being a fucking troll and fucking just leeching off of us like a piece of shit. I guess I shouldn't, sh sh shouldn't say much, should I? I'll just. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, you will be able to use these arc wings, and you're going to be able to fight the giant sentient things with that with the arc wing. I, I'm I'm guessing, um, because these eidolons or whatever they're called, I've got to believe they're at least six to seven stories tall. They're huge. And I mean, yeah. So when nighttime comes around, you better know that that's when the vets are gonna party. So I mean, that's pretty much it for Xenocon. I mean, there was nothing else other than that, uh, except for like the art panel and stuff. Oh god, or the concept art. But I mean, I can get to that on a different video. So for now, I'm honestly just gonna try and focus on. The sorty. They're not dead. Oh my god. Oh wow, thank you. It'd be nice if our fucking teammate would, uh, stop being an asshole and play. <sighs> this is kind of why I hate interceptions. Especially swordsy ones. And you, fuck off.
How do we have control of all four? <coughs> Oh boy. Okay. Please die, please die, please die. Oh, thank Christ. Oh my god. <clears throat> I just want this to be over. I'm dead. The electricity killed me. I can't believe I missed the stairs. Fucking Christ. Oh my God. I know I didn't on I honestly didn't expect this to be so hard. And I swear to god if I get a, a lens from this sortie, I am legitimately just going to Bleh. Someone get that boy sir. Please tell me that's it. Oh, thank Christ. That was the worst interception I have had to sit through in my entire time playing this game. Oh, God. Note to self. Don't explain important stuff while doing sortie. <laughs> I get sidetracked. Oh boy. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for the uh, Plains of Eidolon. I believe the next one was a, what, a, an assassination? But what uh, modifiers? Energy reduction, okay. I want a good team.
Alright, here we go. This should be interesting. I can't see shit. Oh god. Well, this is going wonderfully, isn't it? Oh yes, I think Blair's getting rid of all their armor. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, thank Christ, that one's dead. There's only one left. There's only one left. <clears throat> and he hurts a lot. Oh, thank Christ. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was probably the most miserable sortie I've ever seen. Or had to go through, rather. <clears throat> that was miserable. Especially the interception. Wow, a catalyst. Funny enough, I need one of those. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I couldn't end up in a ribbon. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's a catalyst, so... I mean, okay, I guess, but fucking Christ, that was painful to go through. Oh, boy. That was bad. <laughs> Let me guess that message I just got is a uh, stalker. Yep. <sighs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. It was just, it was it was it was it, yeah. Anyway, don't subscribe don't don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube follow if you're on Twitch and until next time let's in on a nine signing off <laughs>